What's going on everybody? Trey back with G-Square Tactical. Hope y'all are doing really well today. Before we get into this gun, I just wanted to go ahead and bring up that we have our massive 4,000 subscriber giveaway coming up that we are so super excited about. I, I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but we do have something that we're going to be giving away because we really appreciate all of you that support us, those that subscribe, that like, that comment. We really and genuinely from the bottom of our hearts mean it when we say we appreciate that you guys interact with us on the level that you do. With that being said, I hope you all really like this. So this is the H&K 416. It is not the AR, this is the AR pistol, but this is not the AR that is chambered in 5.56 NATO, but rather 22 long rifle. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of controversy out there as to why you would get a AR styled rifle and have it chambered in 22 long rifle. And that's certainly understandable, but sometimes it's just more fun to shoot a 22. We have been shooting, we have shot this rifle and we'll be putting up a uh, range video sometime very soon, but we did put some of this Remington ammunition through it. We put some other kind of mixed 22 long rifle ammo that we had just sitting in a bucket some of that old nasty ammo because we wanted to see how it performed as we do in most of our range videos. But today I wanna to dissect this gun and just really get into those features that make it what it is. So this in particular is a, what they call gray, but is Ellipses exclusive model of the H&K 416. Now there are a lot of really cool features that are also, I move my hot tea out of the way some good stuff but there are some really cool features about this that you have your f free floating barrel the entire gun is aluminum and by that i mean the upper the receiver the lower it is all aluminum and you know one might think that that might make it a little bit heavier as opposed to your rifles that would you know have your plastic lowers and your metal uppers but it's really not the case this gun is very very light coming in at four and a half pounds and honestly because of the weight distribution i don't even think it weighs that much I, i'm i'm definitely going to stick with the facts and what i have read about this particular pistol but it just doesn't feel like four and a half pounds and i think it's because of the weight distribution so you know on most pistols like this canic tp9 mate that we have recently reviewed it comes in it is one of those larger full framed, full sized nine millimeter pistols that we have reviewed, semi-automatic. And it certainly feels heavy. I, I guess it's just because I'm I'm trying to compare this to other AR-15 style platforms. But as we kind of look at this, we see that you have your uh, rail interface system with your M-Lock. So this would be your rail that you are getting with this rifle. You do have a single point harness attachment on the back side of this, which is really cool. Uh, I, I really appreciate the fact that they took the time to include that. It is kind of a fun gun, if you will. So having a lot of features is not necessarily something that I'm, I'm viewing as, as relevant, but is cool nonetheless. You do have your adjustable flip up sights that this pistol comes equipped with. You do not have to buy these aftermarket. It comes with them, which is really awesome. On the business side of this rifle, you have your dust cover, which comes standard, a functioning dust cover. How awesome is that with the 22 long rifle? So you also have your forward assist, your deflector, and you know you, you, you maintain that safe fire 90 degree switch on the other side of this, and it, it, it's on the other side of this rifle, and it's just really a all around feature included AR pistol, but in a 22 long rifle platform. I just, I really appreciate the fact that it is a cheaper round to shoot. I like 22 long rifle. I'm not saying it's better than 5.56 NATO or 223, but I am saying that it's fun to shoot. You don't feel as guilty when you go out to the range and shoot it. And also coming in at four and a half pounds, you can't beat that. You really can't. Uh, it's all aluminum, as I was saying. You do get that custom gray finish because it is a Lipsy's exclusive model. And I know that not every store is gonna have the Lipsy's exclusive model. We, we definitely lucked out, but honestly, the black model 
coming in at right around $519 MSRP, which we paid just shy of that. A, a lot of guns nowadays seemingly are going closer to that MSRP range. It's kind of like the, the, the home, the, the, uh, the housing market right now, you know, everybody's paying MSRP or what you're asking, asking rate, bidding against it, but it's just the world we live in, I guess. But I think $519, if you can put your hands on a black one of these, or heck for that matter, this particular model, this Lipsy's exclusive, you're not gonna go wrong. I don't think that you're going to regret that purchase. You might at first, because you're like, dang, I could have spent that money on something else. But once you start playing with this gun, feeling it, feeling how light it is, I don't know if I mentioned that already or not, but dang, that is, it is sweet. So looking at the front of this pistol, when we were talking about this entire front portion, I mentioned the flip up sights, your rail, your floating barrel, but you also have your muzzle brake that is removable. And you know, the, the barrel is equipped with a threaded barrel, obviously to accommodate that muzzle brake at a one half inch with uh, 28 threads per inch. So one half 28 threaded barrel. So you can fit most any attachment that, you know, it has that, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you did want to make it quiet, I won't say the, the S word, but if you did want to make it quiet, it's certainly an option with this pistol. Looking at the grip, you do get a very comfortable grip on a lot of budget friendly 22 long rifle AR styled guns in particular. So we, we were actually, me and Gene were in a gun store not too terribly long ago and we were looking at a I want to say it was a Smith & Wesson 22, their 22 AR, and it, it was just, it was absolutely hideous as far as the beaver tail flowing into the top of the grip is concerned because it protruded and it just didn't look natural. It didn't look like something they did from the manufacturer. Normally when you receive something from the manufacturer, it's clean as a whistle. You don't have any problems with it. And not that there is a functioning problem with that but it just it just didn't look right so because of that we kind of opted out of getting one i'm sure we'll review one one day but with this rifle you really don't get that you get just a, a beautiful design as you'll see in the range video that we did we had so much fun shooting it no matter how we handled it held it be it you know single-handedly uh if we if we really kind of gripped down and sighted down this rifle. It was still fun because it didn't weigh much. I will say this, when I first got this rifle or pistol, I didn't have this sling attachment on the back. So essentially what this is, is you take your, your rear piece off with an Allen key and it just slides on. You connect it. I picked this up and I'll put a link down in the description below to where you can get this product at. But I put that sling attachment on there because I wanted a single sling. This one has some stretch to it, which I, I really do like. Um, I, I think that looking at it now, hindsight being 2020, I probably wouldn't have opted for this because I, I used it at the range some and I just don't see how it's going to benefit me in the long run. Um, I, I could say that about a lot of guns that we just keep in the safe, but I think I would much rather have had a standard position point on the back instead of one that free floats like this one does and I, I like i say i don't i don't mind it i do like it and i thought i was super tactical still do you know who doesn't but thought i was super tactical out of the range when i had this the, the, when i had this sling on so really I would recommend you go out and get something to put on the back of it, be it a sling, be it a, a stock, a folding stock, if that's what you're into. It's such a highly customizable gun. And with that M lock front, uh, you know, portion on it, where these front flip up sights are, all of this is M lock rail. So you could literally put a red dot on it. You could take these sights off and put some other sights that you might want on it. You could put a uh, ACOG on it. You could do whatever you wanted to. I know it's a 22, and you probably don't want to Mac it out like you would a, a $15, $2,000 AR, especially with it being, in some cases, a sub $500 pistol. You probably don't want to do that, but it's cool nonetheless, right? Now, one of my biggest beefs, I guess, with this 
pistol because, you know, there's always good and bad to everything, I suppose, would be that it only came with one magazine. This magazine is a 10 plus one capacity, if you so chose to have it in a plus one capacity. But I just, I, I, I wish that more than anything, like I think with a lot of pistols, you can kind of, you can kind of get by with it. Be it, you know, say this Canic, for example. So it's clear. So say this Canic, for example, if they would have shipped me one magazine, okay, you know, I'm probably going to use this more in a lighter situation. I'm probably not going to be going into combat with this. Me personally probably won't see combat, but I can get by with that. I can go buy another magazine later on. When it comes to this and an AR styled gun, I want more than one magazine. I mean, if you think about it, if, if any of you have been into a gun store recently, or for that matter, an outdoor store, I've seen it at Bass Pro Shops, at Cabela's, there used to be this place called Gander Mountaineers. I've seen it at all of them. They will have tubs full of AR magazines. And I know this is a special case. It's a 22 long rifle, but I've received ARs that only had one magazine in them. And I'm not a big fan of that. I'm just not. Because if I load this up and I want to rapid fire it, I get to load 10 rounds in this plus the one, and then I'm out and I got to reload. I got to go through the entire process. And I understand I would have had to do that before, but when you're having this much fun because you chose the 22 long rifle caliber, you want to be able to rapid fire. You want to be able to have fun with it, double tap. You want to be able to quick draw. You want to be able to do all of those things because you don't feel guilty shooting the ammo, but you can only do it 11 times. And then you got to put the gun down, take it back, quit filming in our case. You got to do all of these things. And I just wish it would have come with an extra mag. Now with all of that complaining, I certainly could go out and get another one of these, but that's not really the point. The point I'm trying to make is that I wish it would have come with one, but overall that is in no way, shape, or form going to deter me from recommending you get this gun. Because like I was saying before, this thing is jam-packed full of goodies when it doesn't have to be. They didn't have to put a dust cover on it. They didn't have to put a Ford Assist. They didn't have to put a, a, a beautiful rail. They didn't have to color match it because it's a 22. And if you're, in my opinion, I'm sure I'm going to catch grief for this, but in my opinion, if you're really tactical and you're really using this for tactical purposes, such as crawling through the desert, such as, you know, going on stakeouts or whatever the case may be, I hope you're not taking your 22 with you. I hope that you are taking your 5.56 or your 223. I'm, I'm just saying I, 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 it's, a, it's not necessarily a formidable round. Or, or a highly impactful round, I should say, but is a good round, to say the least. It's good for plinking. It's good for just having fun out at the range, guilt-free trips. Don't have to worry about it, right? But with all that being said, I, I really do like this pistol. I want to kind of show you how the, the box that it came in. So this is the, the square cardboard box that it came in. It says no compromise on the side. Is an HK product, obviously the HK416. A really cool box feature that I noticed whenever I was first, well, for that matter. So, this, this particular AR pistol was sitting up on the shelf when I first walked in. It was sitting up there and obviously was out of the case, right? Well, when they ship it, they have special cardboard cutouts. There's a stink bug in here. They have special cardboard cutouts to where you can fit the gun. And it's kind of like they bubble wrapped it, if you will. Like a lot of these, they just have a single cutout in the, like for ARs, they just have a single cutout in the cardboard and it kind of forms around. That guy's been living in there for like four weeks. I'm taken back by that. But it kind of forms around the gun, if you will. This, this particular pistol has so many nooks and crannies to it has your mag well, has your, your front, uh, you know, portion that just, it, it protrudes unnaturally with your, with your, you know, your, your flip up sights. Um, and it, it, it's just an, I, what I'm trying to say is this an awkward gun to package. And because of that, if they would have just cut it out, I feel like there would have been a lot of nicks, a lot of bump ups, and we really just wouldn't, 
I really wouldn't have wanted to buy the gun because I feel like it would have been all marred up and just nasty in general. But again, you can kind of see these cutouts in there. So I really appreciate that. Kudos to you, uh, HNK, for, <clears throat> for doing that. Or oh, There he goes. There he goes. But with all that being said, I've kind of gone over all the features of this gun. I really hope that you all enjoy the range video because I sure did. I love shooting this gun. We went a little mafia with it. So check that out. But if you enjoyed today's video, please smash that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below. We love hearing from all of you. If you pick one of these up, a black version, whatever version you've picked up, if you've customized it once you picked it up, I wanna see that. Uh, so maybe send us some pictures on Facebook or something like that. However you guys want to interact with us, we appreciate it all. But thanks for watching. Have